Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new then welcome. My name is Jillian. I'm a stay at home mom and I enjoy doing a bunch of different videos here on my channel. So if you enjoy what you see I really hope that you would consider subscribing and joining me in my YouTube family. So for today's video as you guys can see from the title it is items that I'm bringing with me to Disney. We are going to Florida. We actually leave tomorrow at the crack of dawn. I think we're probably going to leave like at 6 or 7 in the morning. The reason why we are going down to Florida is to go to my big sister's baby shower. I'm so excited that I am able to go to her baby shower because I wasn't able to go to the gender reveal. And then I also will not be able to be there for the birth of my niece. So I do plan on going maybe a month after she is born, but I won't be there for the actual birth. So I want to at least be able to go to the baby shower. So that is what we are doing. We are going down for the baby shower. And since we will already be in Orlando, we thought that we would take the kids to Disney. We've been wanting to take the kids to Disney for such a long time. But every time we would go down to Orlando, we would say we were going to bring the kids to Disney. But then we decided to just wait until they were a little bit older so they can be able to actually enjoy and also remember their first trip to Disney. So this is going to be their first trip to Disney, which is so exciting. I'm really excited. Who doesn't love Disney? So I'm not going to show you guys things that I'm packing for our Orlando trip like necessities and obvious things. I'm just going to be showing you guys what I'm packing that I will be bringing with me to Disney for that day and also what we will be wearing. And the weather in Orlando is usually pretty hot around this time of year just because it's summer year round over there. But they're having a cold front right now. I checked the weather to see what the weather was going to be like and it's actually pretty cold over there right now. The day that we're supposed to take the kids to Disney it's supposed to be a high of 54 and then like a low of like 30 something. So the shirt that I bought for each of the kids are short sleeves. So I'm going to have to either put like a long sleeve underneath and also bring like a sweater because I don't want them to freeze. But like I said, I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm bringing to Disney and what we will be wearing. So I'll show you guys what we'll be wearing first. And for Madison, I found this really cute outfit from Target and I grabbed it. And this is going to be the shirt she will be wearing. It is a bell shirt. So cute. It's like a navy blue and then it has bell on it. So my favorite part of this outfit for Madison is definitely the leggings, guys. These leggings are so cute. Cannot wait to put these on her. They're Beauty and the Beast leggings. Adorable. Can it be any cuter? I don't think so. These are the cutest leggings I've ever seen. So yeah, these are the leggings she'll be wearing with that shirt. They actually had other Disney character leggings. I decided not to go crazy because I really wanted all of them. So I decided just to buy this one and then I'll probably go back eventually and get the other ones. But she will be wearing Beauty and the Beast. And then for Ryan, he will be wearing this red Mickey Mouse shirt. It says Mickey Mouse, I feel super. And then I love the back. The back has a blue little cape. So it's like a little cape so it can make him feel like a superhero and it's Velcro so if he doesn't want the cape on he can take it off. But it's a really really cute shirt and he actually received this for Christmas from my friend's mom. And then I did plan on putting these little navy blue shorts on him but since it's going to be cold I'm going to have to put jeans on him so I will not be putting these shorts on him. And for me I will be wearing a Minnie Mouse shirt. I was on the hunt. Looking for a really cute either Mickey or Minnie shirt. I found this one at Target for $12.99. It is a really like light red shirt and then it has Minnie Mouse in the front. I thought that was really cute. I bought a large just because I wanted it to be really loose on me because I'm planning to like maybe tie a little knot right here. So that is a shirt I will be wearing and then I'll just wear some jeans and like sneakers with that. And then I also have to bring the kids some sweaters since it will be pretty cool and I'm pretty sure we will be there until late. So at nighttime it's going to get much colder. I think it's supposed to drop down to like 34, 35. So Madison will be wearing this Minnie Mouse sweatshirt. She actually already has this. This is an old sweatshirt from last year. It still fits her. So I thought this would be perfect to bring to Disney for her to put on at nighttime when it gets cold. And then Ryan will just be wearing one of his like Under Armour or Nike sweatshirts. Next is going to be a notebook and you guys I am the worst mother ever because I completely forgot to buy the kids like little notebooks Disney notebooks to bring so the characters could autograph in them 
and I completely forgot about that. It's too late to order on Amazon because we will be leaving tomorrow like at 6 or 7 in the morning. And I went to Walmart and Target could not find a little Disney autograph book. So I just had to go with this black little velvet notebook and then in gold it says dreams. So I thought I would buy this because you know Disney is where dreams come true. So that is why I bought this one and it was on clearance for three bucks. So this is where we will have all the signatures for the characters. I think I like about it is that it has this little ribbon. So anytime we get a signature, I can flip to the next page, save that section so we can get the signature of the next character. So that is the next thing we will be bringing to Disney. Next is going to be water bottles. The kids do already have water bottles. They have the Contigo ones and they also have the thermal ones. I love the thermal ones because they keep the drinks really cold all day but with our luck we will lose them and I don't want to risk losing those because they are pretty pricey and those are the bottles that Ryan uses for school as well. So just to be on the safe side I bought these little cheap plastic water bottles. I believe they were like five or six dollars at Target. So I bought Ryan this red cars one and then I bought Madison this Peppa Pig one because you know she loves Peppa Pig. So if we lose these I won't be as upset as I would be if we were to lose the thermal or the Contigo ones. So these are the water bottles that we will be bringing with us to Disney. Next item is going to be an extra outfit for Madison. As most of you guys know, she is autistic. She's three years old and she is not potty trained. So just in case she has an explosion or a leak, I wanna have a backup outfit with us just in case because I know if I were to buy an outfit from Disney, it would be a million dollars. So I bring in an extra outfit for her. Then I'm going to be bringing a backpack. I'm not going to bring my purse into the park. I'm just going to bring my Puma backpack. And I'm just going to throw everything in here, any necessities that we're going to need throughout the day. The sides have these like mesh pockets where I can put their water bottles. And it has a bunch of different compartments so I can throw everything in here. So this is the bag that I will be bringing. Then I'm going to be bringing some boogie wipes because Madison is a little sick right now. She has a runny nose and boogie wipes is always awesome to have on hand. So I will be bringing this pack of boogie wipes. I also will be bringing some wipes and some diapers obviously because Madison is not potty trained. Next is going to be snacks and I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to bring a big cooler or lunchbox because obviously they want to take all your money and let you spend a million dollars on lunch there. So I'm not bringing a lunchbox or a cooler but I'm pretty sure since they are kids they will allow a few snacks maybe a drink. So I'm planning on bringing them one pouch each of these little honest apple juice pouches. And then in their bottles, I will have water for them. And then as far as snacks, I do want to bring a few snacks for them just in case they get hungry throughout the day. So I'm going to bring this little container of Teddy Grahams. I'm also going to bring them each one of these strawberry yogurt pouches. They'll each get one of these little blueberry granola bars, some Ritz crackers, peanut butter flavor. And then also I will bring maybe one or two of these little fruit snacks. And then the last thing I will probably bring are these. Madison loves these. These are fiber and protein. She used to eat these when she was a baby and she still really loves them. So I'm gonna bring her one of these as well. And that is it from snacks that I'm going to be bringing. For Madison, I need to bring her a few things because when she's in a big crowd or in a really, really loud environment, sometimes she can get really upset and sometimes she's just really cranky. So I want to make sure I have a few things for her to keep her entertained. So I'm going to bring my little mini iPad with me so she can watch a few shows or play a game on it. And then I am going to bring this little activity book. I actually bought one for Ryan too for the car ride to Florida. But I bought one for Madison too. She likes to like doodle and draw. So I thought I would bring this. And if she gets cranky in the stroller, she can just maybe draw and color on it. And then I bought her these cute little pens. They're scented glitter gel pens. So I thought she can use this in her activity book to draw or color. And maybe it'll keep her entertained for a little bit while we are at Disney if she gets super cranky. And I think that is the last thing I will be bringing with me to Disney other than I will probably have like hand sanitizer and also obviously my wallet and stuff that like I would want like lip gloss or chapstick or something and that is it I'm pretty sure these are all the items I will be bringing I don't want to bring like a ton of ton of things because I don't want to lose it at the park so this is what I plan on bringing if there's anything that I should bring that you guys did not see comment down below and let me know I also wanted to ask do any of you guys know at Disney 
if you have a child who has special needs, do they have anything like a fast pass where you can kind of get through the lines a little bit faster? That's the only thing that we're worrying about with Madison because she does not do good, like I said, in really overpopulated, overcrowded, loud places. And I know those lines for the rides can get pretty long and she is not going to wait over an hour for a ride. And the whole reason why we're taking her to Disney is because we want her to experience Disney. We want her to have fun as well. But I know she will not stay in a line for over an hour waiting for a ride. So we're trying to think of what we were going to do. If we were going to try to get like a fast pass to kind of get through the lines faster. Or if we were going to like tag team and like maybe one ride my husband goes on with Ryan. And while I stay with Madison and then the next ride I go on with Ryan while he stays with Madison. I don't know. If any of you guys have any kids who are special needs or know someone who has a child that has special needs and they brought their kid to a park. Can you comment down below maybe let me know how they handled it or how you handled it because this will be the first time that we ever bring her to a big park. We have brought her to like little carnivals and fairs but we've never actually taken her to a theme park so this is going to be the first time bringing her. So I'm a little nervous about that but fingers crossed that she's in a really good mood that day and we can get through a full day at Disney. Okay guys, that is going to end my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my Disney video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would really love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.